Hi, this is Christopher Kimball from Milk Street at Home. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I got a good idea, maybe a great idea, of taking a focaccia recipe from Southern Italy, really unusual recipe, and turning it into a pizza. Now, the reason I wanted to do that is the dough is so wet, you could put it on an oil pizza pan, and the shaping was really simple to do, which really avoids the biggest problem in making homemade pizza. Now, here's what was unusual about that recipe. It used a lot of water, 92% hydration, which means almost as water by weight as flour. Secondly, it used a lot of yeast, uh, a whole package of yeast per pizza. In this case, it was two packages of yeast for a double recipe, which is a lot. Uh, third, it rose for six hours. It rose up, it rose down, it rose up again. And that made this amazing, bready, airy focaccia. So here's what I did since then. I reduced the flour to 200 grams per pizza from 250. I reduced the water uh, to 85% hydration, 170 grams of water. I left the uh, yeast the same at a package of yeast. I reduced the rising time from six hours to four hours. I didn't want it quite so airy and thick. Uh, and then when I got it out of the bowl after four hours, I put it onto a pizza pan. It doesn't go onto a peel, onto a round pan that costs three bucks with a couple tablespoons of oil. I let it sit for 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, I topped it with a half cup of pre-shredded supermarket <laughs> low quality mozzarella cheese. Uh, fresh cheese just is too wet. In fact, in Naples, when they make it with fresh buffalo mozzarella, they have to cut their pizza with a knife and fork because the center is so soggy. Then I did not use the tomato sauce. I tried that, but it was too wet again. So I took some grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, capri tomatoes, cut them in half, uh, and then smashed them a little bit with a potato masher in a bowl to get rid of the uh, seeds and the liquid, just use the meat. So then I topped the pizza 20 minutes, also made sure it went out almost to the edges at that point with my fingers that were oiled. Uh, let it sit another, another 20 minutes, that was critical. Let it sit another 20 minutes. A uh, little oregano on top, salt, pepper, drizzle some oil over the tomatoes into a very hot oven on the pizza steel. 12 to 14 minutes baking time and you're done. So the advantage of this recipe, I call it my pour in the pan pizza, is it avoids the whole issue of stretching the dough or rolling it out. Uh, it makes a great crisp bottom because the oil's so hot like a Chicago pizza. It's really crunchy. The top is crispy. Uh, the inside is light and airy. It really was one of the best pizzas I've ever had, whether at home or at a restaurant. So give it a shot. Pour in the pan pizza from Milk Street. Uh, and I hope you enjoy uh, your baking at home.